Hi guys! My full name is Elizabeth White Flowers. I live in Orange County, California uh, with my boyfriend. I was raised in New York City. I grew up with my little sister Rebecca and a lot of dogs and cats. I'm studying environmental science and policy with a focus in ecology and a minor in organic chemistry. Um, my favorite thing in the world is science. I guess academically my favorite thing in the world is science and outside of that it's animals and food which never mix. I do not eat meat or fish. Fish are animals too. When I was growing up I felt like society had set out a plan for me and I had agreed to it at a very young age simply by being born into that society. I let the external input dictate how I felt about myself. And of course some people experience this with body image and some people experience this with, you know, maybe their parents are doctors and therefore they feel like they should be doctors. My mom still is a doctor and my dad still is uh, the head of a company but he's always been in business. and. They're really good at certain things. They were great at going to high school and going to college right afterwards and getting married and having kids. Like, I knew subconsciously I could never be what society sort of was telling me I had to be and I could never be what my parents were. I put so much pressure on myself in high school and I was also allergic to certain foods that we didn't know about and I was getting physically sick from the stress that I was putting on myself. And so um, they finally pulled me out and took me back to New York because I was at boarding school. They took me back to New York, you know, New York City where the best doctors are. So when I left school and I started feeling better, I tried to go back to school in New York City. Again, I said, you know, I can't make it through school. So finally, and I have to be honest about this, I must have cried three hours a day for a few months before I could admit it to myself that I had to drop out of school. I need to just think. I just needed to sit there and think for a really long time, maybe I think it was about 10 months, I spent most of my time alone. So everything that had been imposed on me basically faded away. And I could sort of hear that inner voice that you have when you're a kid. So what I ended up doing was a dive master program in Australia. And so I went and I took the dive master course for about a month where you just dive two or three times a day. And then I stayed for two years. Uh, first year was my vacation visa and the second year was a working visa. I didn't have any of the outside influences I had when I was a kid still around me and so um, I was able to be myself. So the first point is that I've done it. I've gone outside of societal norms and I'm doing really well and I'm a real person and there's you know, a million, if not more, other people that have done the same thing, and, you know, I just want people to believe that, you know, it's okay to do something different. It's okay to be yourself, to be unapologetically you. So my channel will be talking about past things that I've done that have been outside of the societal norm that have either turned out really well or were worth the try, I guess, but didn't turn out well. And then um, I'll also be talking about things that are going on now. Now that I'm allowed to be unapologetically me, I have sort of grown into my own skin and I am trying a lot of new things. Um, I don't let the nervous voice hold me back from things, so I've wanted to start a YouTube channel, for example, for, I don't know, five or ten years. And I decided to do it because I just want to be myself. And I know that, you know, I've been told I have extremely expressive eyebrows and that I often make a double chin when I'm focusing. You know, so what? I'm going to be me. I didn't even brush my hair today, so there you go. Being myself. Okay, guys. So I've made a long story even longer. And um, thank you for watching. I will be doing many more crazy things to come that I'd love to share with other people and hear feedback on and hear about your crazy stories. So if you want to hear more stories, subscribe below and remember always be unapologetically you. Boom.